What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Indy. If you are new, welcome and thank you for coming. If you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you for coming back as always. So today I'll be talking about my top five favorite holiday traditions um, as a way to celebrate my edition of Vlogmas. And this is also where this look comes from because today I'll be hosting a virtual Christmas party for a client of mine. So hence the little Christmas tree-esque earrings <laughs> and my holiday sweater. So if you're interested in how I got this look and to hear me ramble, keep on watching. All right, everybody, so I've already got my eyebrows done because I didn't want to take too long to do them on this video. But while I am hopping into my eyeshadows, which are from the Nude Magical palette that I'm using, I wanted to talk about my top five favorite holiday traditions. Starting with number one, eggnog. I don't know about y'all, eggnog is so fiery to me. I don't, and I don't know why. Because I'm not really like an egg person like that. Y'all do eggs and stuff. Especially with my recent like fitness journey. I'm supposed to, I think to stay away from eggs. Eggs-ish. I know they're protein, but I'm also, I'm also balancing between like pescatarian and, um, and vegan-ish. But eggs have never really been like my favorite, favorite, favorite. But eggnog i have to have like one pint of eggnog every season like it never ever ever fails so i love 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 some eggnog now tell me in the comments below do y'all do eggnog and i think it's whiskey or something like that i want to say it's whiskey um please let me know if that's really good i want to try that as well um but i don't want to i don't want to be off eggnog um so yeah let me know let me know. Number two, my favorite holiday tradition, Christmas sweaters. Um, interestingly enough, I'm an August baby, but I will, I like the cold weather because I like the sweaters that you can wear. And the amount of like ugly Christmas sweaters, cute Christmas sweaters, decorative, all that good stuff, my absolute favorite. Um, I actually have a party that I'm hosting uh, for a client of mine, and I think we're doing like Christmas sweaters. So I'm really excited because I need to go to Target or something and get me this year's holiday sweater because I get one every year and I have to repeat. <laughs> oh. But yeah, those are my actual favorite, favorite, favorites. That's my top two number, or my number two out of the top five. Number three would definitely be the food. The, I mean, that should have been number one, but this is in no particular order. So even though I am, you know, on my weight loss journey, um, and my fitness journey, I love food. I'm always gonna love food, guys. Um, it's a thing, we have a great relationship, but I'm trying to get better with it because I will, I found this out recently, um, I will eat because it's available. That's not good now, is it? Um, also, I'm going in with this second color right here. So I'm using this color and this color. Um, I eat because it's available, but the holiday season always presents you with even more food, you know, than normal that you can eat. And so I love dressing. I recently developed a love for dressing. I used to not like it as a kid. I thought it was so nasty. I was like, Ugh, what is this? But I love, love, now I love dressing. Um, I have an uncle that makes like spicy collard greens because they're like, not brined, but they're like combined with jalapenos. Those are really, really good. Um, and then I like, I actually like um, a Cornish hen, not turkey. Well, I will eat turkey like during the holiday season. It's actually not my favorite though. My favorite is like a Cornish hen or something like that. Mm, awesome, okay, I'm liking this so far. And again, I'm just doing a simple holiday look because again, I'm hosting this Christmas party. And so I was like, oh, I need to, you know, put some makeup on or whatever. Um, just to be cute and festive, you know. Um, so yeah, so back to um, food being my top three. Number four, and this probably is most important to me, family, 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 family. Um, I find that the holiday season is one of the few times of the year that all of us get to get together just because, you know, life be life in and, you know, everybody has responsibilities, everybody's geographically not in the same place, you know, and so those things uh, make it hard for us to gather as much as we would like. But the holiday season, ever since I was a kid, always allowed my family and I to come together um, and see each other uh, and just laugh and joke. And 
I come from a musical family too, so we're always playing somebody's music or dancing or singing or doing whatever, or, you know, forming little groups or whatever. So I'm really excited uh, for that, especially because I really haven't seen a bulk of my family in like maybe two, three years because of the pandemic. And so, you know, for safety reasons, um, we just wanted to make sure like the older people were good, the younger people were good. Um, and so we didn't meet. So I'll, I'm going to my grandmother soon and I actually, or see my grandmother soon, and I haven't seen her like physically, I mean, thank God for FaceTime, but I haven't seen her in like maybe two years. Let me see, we're in 2021. Yeah, I haven't seen her since like 2019. So like the thought of that makes me super uber uber sad, but that's because I love my family. But that's why I'm grateful, like I said, for stuff like FaceTime, you know, things like that that's allowed us to stay connected. All right, y'all, so my eyes are done. Again, I'm actually keeping this super, super quick, super fast, because I think I said this in my previous video, I love makeup, but I also want to still look like myself, my natural born self. So, um, like I said, I only use like two colors on my eyes, just a little glittery shimmer, and then I actually um, kind of waved it out actually with my finishing powder, because I like how it looks on my Bravo. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my eyeliner on, which will be, where's my handy dandy eyeliner? Yeah. My Handy Dandy Eyeliner, which is from LA Girl. Alrighty. <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments what your favorite foods are. I would love to know, or if y'all have recipes and stuff, because I am, I'm a foodie and I'm a cook. So I will cook and try something at least once and determine if I like it or not. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Y'all, I, I, I gotta be quiet for when I do my eyeliner. I gotta shake it correctly. There we go. Yes. Who is she? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, we are good there. So now I'm gonna move to my face. I'm gonna move to my face. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna move to my face and I'm um, just gonna do my regular combination, my regular combination of foundation. Say that three times fast. Uh, and I use the Revlon Stay Matte in Warm Caramel 502. And I also use Juvia's Place. What I noticed about this foundation is that I feel like warm caramel is not me in the winter time. Um, for all of my beautiful brown chicks out there, all of the um, mixed chicks, brown chicks, uh, melanade chicks, we change colors during the winter time because the sun's not out and our foundations have to switch. And I'm about to have to switch back to, I don't think it's warm caramel, I think it's like soft caramel or something like that, I don't know. But I have to switch because I can already tell, like, I have to use more Juvia's Place than this. Um, let me know if I'm the only one. I'm sure I'm not. But let me know in the comments below your favorite foundations for winter. All right. Now this is my beauty blender. Yeah, it's perfect. And then I'm going to, I like to wet mine with my finishing spray. So I'm just going to do that over here. Perfect. All right, y'all, so back to my final in my top five. I've already said I love eggnog, I love Christmas sweaters, family, food, and then my last in my top five, and this is in no particular order, I mean, obviously family would be number one. Um, my last in my top five would definitely have to be decorations. So um, I'm an old lady in spirit, and so like home decor, uh, Christmas decor, like seasonal decor, that's become very, very popular in my Instagram feed, in my um, YouTube feed, in my Google searches, all those things, just because I'm about to be in the process of moving. And so um, I've been looking at like different home decor ideas. But with that, I've also looked at seasonal decor. And so this year, I feel like, again, with the pandemic, people weren't going outside and, you know, stuff like that. But this year, uh, people are back to decorating, and in my neighborhood, it's just so pretty. 
Like it's just so, so pretty that everyone is getting in the holiday spirit. And that's another thing too. I feel like lights, I feel like the lights are one of those physical ways that you can see that the seasons are changing, the holidays are here, and that people are just, you know, in a holly jolly mood. And I love, 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 love that. I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, so this makeup can oxidize proper and we can get it popping. Mm -hmm. Y'all let me know in the comments below too what you're so excited about for this holiday season. Um, like I said, I can't wait to see my family. I can't wait to help cook. Very, very excited to help cook with the family. Um, I'm excited to see how well I do with my discipline because um, I talked about this in my last video. I am on my fitness journey once more and discipline is actually like the biggest thing in, in the whole, I guess, transformation that I'm going through, this season I'm going through. Um, because everything else, praise God, has been um, relatively, I'm not going to say simple or easy. I'm going to say doable. I'm going to say doable. Like every, like exercising, that's been good. Eating good, that's been good. However, the discipline for me comes in the fact of like, okay, India, you have to make sure you're making time in your day to prioritize working out. You have to make sure you are portion control, make sure you're drinking water, all those things, you know? And so that part is, that's the difficult part for me. Like physically working out, I'm fine with that. And actually I just rediscovered my love for cardio. Um, that's always been my biggest thing. Hold on guys. Cool. That's been my biggest thing. Like cardio, I actually rediscovered my love for it. Like I'm, I'm either skating, elliptical, biking. What am I doing? Let me see. I'm skating. I skate probably like twice a week. I run probably like once a week. I do cycling twice a week. And then my other day, I'll just switch it up. So yeah, I'm trying to think like yesterday, yesterday was bike, today's gonna be skating. Tomorrow will probably be bike again before I, yeah, before I go see my grandmother. Um, and then going from there. But like I'm saying, like I was saying, those are all cardiovascular activities. And so I found my love for them all over again, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, but I say my discipline because, like I said a little bit a while ago, I eat because the food's available, which is not good. That's that's not good because that's how the weight just stays on me, grows on me, all that. And the beginning of my journey, that was the biggest question I, I had asked myself. I was like, how did you get here? And I was like, oh yeah, you overeat because it's available. So um, portion control is gonna be important, you know, and I can be a little lenient, but I don't wanna be either because um, to me, that's just a window of opportunity to just haphazardly do whatever I want to do. Um, so I'm done with my foundation and while that oxidizes, I'm going to go in with my soft focus, um, my soft focus by Black Radiance because I'm almost done with this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want to get off the wagon because I'm already, I've already been riding a good wave and I don't want to let a holiday, you know, like distract me from the purpose and the goal and stuff. So granted, like all the food will be cooked at home, which is another thing I've been doing, but I don't know. I just don't want to be too excited. And I'm a little nervous, to be honest, of how I'm going to react to the food being there. Just because, and again, I'm not going to like gorge out and pick out, but like I have the capability to eat how I want to eat. So that should be interesting, but at least the food will be good. <laughs> the food that I'm indulging on will be very, very good. Wonderful. All right, now I'm going in with my bronzer. Um, today we are bronzing with today we are bronzing with LA Colors um, bronzer in golden. It's one of my favorite bronzers. I actually need to get some more. Ooh, so here's a question for y'all: Do y'all gift yourself during the holiday season? Do you like treat yourself or do you purchase anything, whether it be big or small for yourself? I recently started doing this maybe like three Christmases ago, I want to say. 
And I always tell myself that I want a new purse. <laughs> I love purses. I I want a purse collection eventually. But in the meantime, between time, I just replace a new purse. Um, and then I put the old one in storage. But I learned that, you know, it's okay to give yourself a little bit, you know, to do something for yourself, you know? So if you don't already gift for yourself, whether it's small or large or anything, I would definitely encourage it. I got myself a purse. And I got myself, ooh, some stuff from Victoria's Secret. It was so cute. And I got a new makeup bag too, which I'll actually start transferring this stuff out of my old makeup bag. So this is going, it's not going bye-bye. It's actually just going back in the collection. And then I'm going to put my new item or my items in my new bag. So that'll be good. But yes, if you guys don't, um, if you guys don't already gift yourself, definitely do because you deserve it. Okay, so we are looking good. Okay, she's looking good. Yes. Holiday party is almost activated. I'm going to do a couple more things to my face. And then we're going to call it quits. Um, because, again, I like it for A, for B. This is not supposed to be long. And for C, the party's starting in just a few minutes. So, let me go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and go in with my highlighter. So today we are highlighting with Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. Um, it's Golden Flower Crown. It's actually really, really light, but I like it for this holiday because I think it'll be a very, very nice little pop. And then after that, I'm gonna put my blush on, which is also by Wet n Wild. You can't tell, I love me some um, drugstore makeup. I love Wet n Wild, I love LA colors, all those things. Um, I think I've said this before too, like I'm all here for Ulta and all that stuff. I just also believe in affordability and you know, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, you see, oh, oh, that's so pretty. Look, look at the difference. You see that? So, one, so one, two, one, two. Oh, it's so pretty. That is so pretty. Yes. Yes. So, I do want to end my little top five by doing a couple honorable mentions. So, honorable mentions. Uh, Christmas programs are so cute to me. Like whether it's like the little Nutcracker or like the the Christmas dance or what have you. That's at the that's at the community theater or at church or something like that. I think those are super uber cute. My niece recently had a um, a recital and it was like holiday themed. I wish I could be there, but I couldn't. But I was there in spirit, and so she did a really good job. So I'm super proud of her. Look at. Look at that. Okay, look, I just wanted to make a note. I discovered, for myself at least, I already knew, I mean, I'm sure it was already out, but blush and highlighter combination on my skin, I discovered this when I was like maybe late college. That was years ago. <laughs> but the difference it makes in your face, oh, stop, stop, stop. I'm happy, okay, okay, let me get back, let me get back to what I was doing. Um, I'm going to spray with my finishing spray now because after this, I'm just going to throw on my mascara. We're going to do some lips and call cool it a day. We're going to fan it out, fan it out, fan it out. Woo! And I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but, um, my setting spray actually has some shimmer in it. Um, it's NYX. Um, it's a NYX uh, professional setting spray, but it is a radiant finish as opposed to a matte. I love, love, love a glossy finish. More like a dewy glossy. Not like glossy, glossy, like I'm wearing plastic or something on my face. But... We like it, we like it, we like it, we like it. We like it, we like it, we like it. Ah! All right. <laughs> Another honorable mention for me is... Hmm... Another honorable mention for me is, hmm, mm, I would say, oh, this is a weird, I don't know if this is weird or odd or whatever, but the placement of Christmas and the holiday season, being that it's at the end of the calendar year, I think that's great because I like that we can end the year as best as we can on a positive note. Positive note. Like, so much can happen in a year. You know what I mean? 
And I like that Christmas is, you know, it's the 25th. And even Kwanzaa, like Kwanzaa starts December, Hanukkah, all those good things. But they're all in the last like calendar year, like fiscal calendar year, however you want to say it. So we all get to end the year, you know, celebrating our, our faith, our culture, you know, what we believe with our families, all that good stuff. And I like that. It's like, I feel like it's the most positive way to end the year before the new year. Um, I'm not really a big believer in like resolutions. I think you should, I think you should intentionally set goals, but I feel like resolutions are just, they're going to go by the wayside in like February. But, um, I like that you can, you can look towards, I was about to say, look towards the hills that come, which come with your help. No, you can look towards a, better, a new year. Uh, you can look towards better, look towards greater. And I do think that the year turning, like, you know, every year that turns that, you know, you get another year, it's an opportunity. Well, really every day is an opportunity. But I just really, really like that the holidays are place. So I guess whoever the calendar makers were, yay for that. Ooh, the fact that my face is actually shimmery. Oh. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Yes. I thank you. Yes. Y'all ever just get excited when your makeup turns exactly how you wanted it to go? Like, ugh. It makes me so happy because I be feeling like a little professional. At least for my face. At least for my face. But now that I'm good, oh, we're going to just do a couple whiskeys at the bottom. And we're going to go from there. Stop. Stop. You gotta tell yourself positive things. If you don't tell yourself positive things, start today, tonight, whenever you're in your spare time when it's just you and yourself. Talk to yourself positively, I'm trying to tell you. It will make a huge difference. It will make a huge, huge difference. And I can say that's my testimony. All right, y'all, so we are going to end with my lips. So this is actually a lipstick from Clinique. So fun fact, I used to work with Clinique when I was in, when I was in college. Good times, good times. Um, and so I would always make sure I got all the gifts, like the like if you buy this, you get a free gift, and it has like seven items in it, all that type of stuff. So this Clinique is actually special because this is my last Christmas working there, and I got the holiday gift, and it featured like three lipsticks. So this is number 44, Raspberry Gloss, Glaze Gloss, Raspberry Gloss. And I think this is great for the holidays as well. Oh, I saw 30. Hmm, do we like, oh, we like, we like it. I like it. I'm not going to do lip liner today because I didn't think my face called for it today. Mm. I like that. It's like subtle. It's subtle. It's giving like wintry fall, I guess, if you will, because it's a darker lip. Mm. And it's actually super creamy. It's still super creamy. Thankfully, I have I pride myself on taking care of my makeup, so my stuff be good. Um, but this lipstick is still just like the first day I put it on. Creamy, good consistency. Hmm. I'm gonna clean up my cupid though. Woo! We like it. Ah, yay! Look at me, yay! Look at me, my little quickest smile. Look, I don't know. I noticed this when I was like. 13, when I smile, it's actually kind of crooked. It like goes down. Me and my twin sister have the same thing, actually. Um, I definitely want to get some uh, video with her soon. So that'll be up hopefully um, sometime in the new year because she's moving back from overseas. But we both have this thing with our lip where like we smile and it like goes down here. But look, but it's still good. It's not like the weird nuances that make you who you are, you know? It's like an imperfection that makes you who you are. So yay. So I'm done with the look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get switched into my holiday sweater and I'm gonna show y'all the final look. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. Here we go. I decided to keep my hair, my bun, my little braid bun going on just because I like the look. 
have my little Christmas tree earrings going on because let's be extra for the holiday season. And then my sweater. This sweater I got from Kohl's. Um, it, it's a crop sweater, so it like goes up, I don't know, here. And then I just got some jeans on because this is the only part that they're gonna see me at the holiday party. So once again, thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite Christmas or holiday traditions are. And until next time, happy Vlogmas, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all that good stuff. Mwah.